Hello there, this is NopeName. It's been a while since I have uploaded a video, but now I'm back with another data pack. Before we take a look at it, I quickly want to tell you what has been going on and what your future might bring. If you're not interested in that short channel update, uh, feel free to skip the next two or three minutes. Um, all right, so the reason why there haven't been any videos lately is that I was working on my bachelor thesis, which is finished now, yay. <laughs> um, I still don't have my bachelor degree yet. So um, yeah, that's why, uh, that's because I need to collect some more points from elective courses. However, this means that I have more time again to do YouTube and Minecraft stuff. So what about the future? I can't tell for sure since I want to be more spontaneous, but the content on this channel will probably change a bit. My interest in Minecraft has decreased a bit, especially when it comes to making adventure maps. Instead, I want to focus more on other types of programming and probably game development. I don't know yet how much of it I will publish here, but don't uh, don't be surprised if there are suddenly videos on this channel not related to Minecraft. I kind of, yeah, I kind of moved on without leaving Minecraft behind entirely. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, I will upload more videos, but also more spontaneously, and there will probably be more content not related to Minecraft. Okay, let's talk about this data pack. Um, it's an implementation of Conway's Game of Life in Minecraft. <clears throat> in case you don't know what that is, each block here represents one cell. Dark blocks are dead cells and light blocks are living cells. And in every update cycle, a set of, rule, uh, uh, a set of rules <laughs> is applied to each cell. Um, dead cells with Three living neighbors, like this one, uh, will become alive. Living cells with two or three neighbor cells, like this, uh, no, <laughs> like uh, this one, this one, like all of these actually, um, they will stay alive. And all other say, uh, all other cells, sorry, um, will die or stay dead. Um, so it's basically just four rules. Uh, you can look them up on Wikipedia if you, yeah, if my explanation was too chaotic. Um, but basically, you just have these four simple rules, and they will cause some interesting complex behavior. Um, yeah, often it looks kind of random. Sometimes it doesn't look random. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's take a look. Um, therefore, I um, yeah have this board here. When you install the data pack, you don't have it. So you don't have such a board. And to get such a board, you um, simply run the function gol create board. Uh, gol stands for game of life. And this is pretty much the only function you need. And it will create this uh, board for you. Dead cells are never right blocks, living cells are white concrete blocks. Um, with this button you can remove the board again. Here you can run a simple step. Um, this will just spin forever. So let's take a look. Just uh, one step at a time. This will update the board uh, once every second like this. And this will uh, update it every game tick, which might be too much for slow PCs. Uh, oops, and here you can stop it. And actually during the recording, I also get lag here. Hmm. And here you can clear the board. Okay, so an interesting example is this structure here, which almost looks like a big H letter. And yeah, let's do it as fast as possible. 
Um, unfortunately, Minecraft doesn't update the chunks properly, so this glider here will kind of disappear. Yeah, and it's already over. But you could see that for most part it looked quite random, but then you had this structure here that just moves forever in a diagonal diagonal whoop, diagonal line. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it was only stopped by the border of this board here, and I'm really getting some lag here. Eh. Maybe it helps if I rejoin. Let's see. Okay. Um, so yeah, that glider was uh, looks like this, and let's run it again. You can see, just runs in a diagonal line. <laughs> okay, and before you edit the board, you should stop it because if you run the updates and you try to place something here that doesn't work. So, yeah, you could already see that there are some interesting structures. So this square will just stay in place. This will spin, so to say, like this. And yeah, I already showed you the glider and there are more interesting structures, which I don't know yet at the moment. I would have to look it up, but you can play around with it, uh, with this here if you want or you can of course go to a website where you have a lot better performance but still I thought it's cool to uh, run this in Minecraft by the way this is really resource intensive <laughs> um, but yeah that's it for this video if you want to try it out for yourself, uh, there's a download link for the data pack in the description. Um, yeah, the link will guide you to my GitHub page. And yeah, as shown before, you uh, as shown before, you simply have to run that one function, um, create board, and then yeah, just place some uh, blocks white concrete and never write and press the buttons and have fun. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. So if you still have any questions or whatever, write them in the um, comments. And yeah, that's it for this video. See you next time. Bye.